So in this second video, I will continue to show you how you can work with table cursor on the card collection to create cool application, pub, sub kind of stuff. So I will connect back to my database, use chat and show collections. So we have the collection messages, uh, that is a card collection. Uh, I will start my new application, so I will just show you that it has been updated uh, with some code about uh, socket IO. So you see that we send now message to a socket client, and as part of the application now, we have an index.html file that will expose that in your browser. So let's start the application. So it's starting, waiting on port 3000, so the HTTP server. And also in addition, uh, I am running the Java, a Java application just to show you that messages will be broadcasted to all the clients. So now we are uh, waiting for even here, waiting for even here and here, and I will uh, connect to my application, localhost. Now we have uh, it's waiting for messages. So every time that I will start, uh, will save um, in my message a new text message. So insert, and I will save the message type. Message. And put a specific text. It will be sent to the node server that will push that on my browser, but also to the Java client that is listening for this specific queue. So you see, hello, hello, and hello. Sending another message. Same, continue to uh, push the messages to <coughs> all the cursors that are open. So now if, if I open a new window, another window, and listening on the same application, so read back all the existing messages. So we have, hello, bonjour, let's add Add another message that will be sent to the server, the Java client listening to one socket IO client, another socket IO client. Everything should receive the message, as you can see. So you can 